Hey guys, what is up? It is Spooky Noodles, and I am back with a new video. Today, I will be talking about the Kindle books that I recently purchased. Um, I'm loading up my Kindle right now. Well, not my Kindle per se, but um, I'm loading up my phone so I can show you guys the um, books I got. So, very exciting stuff. Um, two books I did get for either free or 99 cents I can't remember um how much the other ones that I got were how much they were oh you know what three uh, uh not three uh two were 99 cents one was free and then the other ones were like three to four dollars I don't remember um but yeah without further ado let's do this shall we so First book I got here is um, a goodie. Um, I gotta open it real quick. I forgot to uh, to download it apparently. Um, but this one has two authors I know and one author I don't know, or two authors I don't know. Um, Wesley Southard is in it. Rich Hawkins is in it, and that's all I know. Then it has Rebecca Besser. And Dale Eldon. And that is Grindhouse. Oh, you know what? It actually has more authors. I just I look I just looked down at the bottom and it says also starring. And I'm looking through those names to see if I know anybody. And uh this is compiled and edited by Adam Millard. I know Adam Millard. He wrote the October Boys, so that's Grindhouse. That girl with the chainsaw there. The only thing I don't like about the cover, and you guys aren't gonna be able to see it very well, is I don't like the font of the title on the chainsaw. It just looks out of place. But yeah, it looks like a fun book. Um. It's an anthology, so there's no synopsis to read. So, all right, next we have a book I got for 99 cents. Um, it needs to download. I am so sorry. Um, Tim Curran is an author, mm, excuse me, that I really want to read. He has a, like I think two cosmic horror books, and then um, he has this one that's called Symbiosis, which it might be also a comic. Cosmic Horror book, but, um, hold on one second. Alright, sorry about that. Um, yeah, while I, I was, uh, doing something, uh, the book got, uh, downloaded, or not got downloaded, or was downloaded, whatever. This is Worm by Tim Curran. I have Symbiosis by him, and I really want to give it a read. I also have the audiobook, but I don't like the narrator too much, so I DNF'd Symbiosis, but it's not because of the book, it's just the narrator was just awful. I hate saying that, you know? And I'm not going to name him, his name, but he just, it, okay, he's not awful. He's just not my type of narrator, not someone I specifically enjoy listening to. Not my cup of tea so maybe it's yours but yeah but anyways this is worm and i was like looking at this cover i'm like at first i didn't realize what i was looking at then i realized it's a toilet with a worm monster popping out so i was like yeah i have to read this and it's very short um uh what is the synopsis though let's see on pine street the houses begin to shake the earth begins to move. The streets crack open, yards split asunder. And rising from subterranean depths far below, the viscid black muck bubbles up and floods the neighborhood. In it are a ravenous army of gigantic worms seeking human flesh. They wash into houses. They come up through the sewers, through plumbing, filling toilets and tubs, seeking human prey. Cut off from the rest of the town, the people from of Pine Street must wage a war of survival or they'll never see morning. As bad as the worms are, there's something worse and far larger waiting to emerge. 
So that is Worm by Tim Curran. Um, I probably have way too many books <laughs> downloaded onto my phone, but that's okay. Um, next book I have as an ebook, uh, as soon as it loads, um, here we go. This is uh, a book called One for the Road by Wesley Southard. And what this what what makes me excited for this book is uh well it's kind of like it's not like this not it's not like we sold our souls but it has the same type of so it basically we sold our souls is by Grady Hendrix and um, it's about these um this 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 band ex band guitarist who um basically is trying to put an end to uh, her old band's run or something like that and like they're possessed by the devil or something and yeah anyways um this one it has to do with a band too uh, basically they're on tour and the guy's like, this is my last show. And then, uh, then they are, uh, they are thrown into a different like dimension and they have to get, uh, get together and survive. I believe, um, it says this is the winner of 2020 Splatterpunk award for best novella. And then it says, here's Brian Ke Keen's uh, quote, which he quotes a lot of people, or blurbs a lot of people. But here we go. A road trip through hell, in the spirit of Skip Inspector's The Scream, and Grady Hendrix's We Sold Our Souls. I loved it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. It's it's like, it's kind of, it's, it's in the same realm as We Sold Our Souls. But to me, I think it's going to be better. I didn't like, enjoy... We sold our souls. I'm hoping this one is good though, because it is of the splatterpunk variety. So yeah, let me read the synopsis. Only one more show and heavy metal guitarist Spencer Heston can finally quit rot in hell. No more touring, no more fighting, and no more unwanted advances on the from the lead singer's girlfriend. But instead of waking up the next day in their Midwestern town, the band finds themselves dazed and confused in an abandoned settlement in the middle of the desert with no idea of how they got there. Things are done a little differently out here. The trees have perverse urges, the spiders have human fingers, and every time they step outside, the town transforms into a new hellish nightmare. In this town, anything is possible except making it out in one piece. And then it says something about how Deadite's proud about it, and uh, it says that if you're a fan of Silent Hill, Jacob's Ladder, and Lost Highway, that you will probably enjoy this. And then there's another uh, blurb here from Jonathan Jans, but I'm not going to read it. So that's One for the Road by Wesley Southard. I think I'm going to like this one more than I liked We Sold Our Souls. I, 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 it's, it's not that We Sold Our Souls is a bad book. Um, I just didn't like it. Um, uh, sorry, I, I just got charged for something and I don't know what it is. I feel like I should be getting money, not losing money. So what the hey, what the hey guys, what did I spend money on? I have no idea but anyways um yeah I canceled an order so I should be getting money in into my account instead of it coming out of my account I tried to cancel some other old orders but uh yeah for some reason it's uh things aren't getting canceled and I don't know why and now it's not even letting me cancel books anymore so I don't know what's up with that but anyways, um, yeah, I got a few books here that I, um, 
can't wait to get um I'm hoping uh, they arrive soon um like <sighs> yeah I'm very very stoked about a lot of these books I have coming in the mail um I'm not gonna share them with you now but just know that there are some killer books on the way and uh that is it um yeah that's i believe that's it uh oh i also got I, i'm so sorry that's not it i got this really short um story it's not um it's not the shortest story you know it's probably like just enough to be a short story but not a novella so maybe it's a novelette but um yeah so this book is called Human Waste by C.M. Saunders, which I've heard of C.M. Saunders from the No Sleep podcast and I believe the Chilling Tales for Dark Nights. Um, so I heard that they are, you know, he's he or she, I'm not really sure, but um, they are a very good uh, author. And... Uh, yeah, I can't. I I'm looking forward to reading this really short story, um, or novelette. I'm not really sure what it is. It says a short splatterpunk story. So, yeah. And what is the synopsis? Dan Pallister is a survivalist and prepper. Much to the annoyance of the people around him, he has been surviving and prepping since childhood. He just didn't know what for. When he wakes up one morning to find the world overrun by bloodthirsty zombies, it all becomes clear. And despite the fall of civilization, he can't wait to get started. He just needs to stock up on supplies from the local supermarket first. But is everything what it seems? Bonus content! Till Death Do Us Part short story, No Man's Land, Horror in the Trenches exclusive extract. Warning. This book contains descriptions of graphic violence and or sex and is not suitable for children. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> That's Human Waste by C.M. Saunders. And, um, I did get like, no, I didn't get anything else. That's it. Um, so yeah. Um, that is it. Um, that is all the ebooks that I got. I only got three really. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Ha! <laughs> I just duped you. I duped you, guys. I duped you. I forgot about the, the free book and the one I got for 99 cents. So, here is a, um... Uh, here comes the yawn. <sighs> I gotta wait for it to load. This is a story by Terry M. West. And I showed off a book by Terry M. West once. Um... And I'm very, uh, oh, well, the cover won't load. Oh, there we go. A horror nova novelette by Terry M. West. And this is Midnight Snack. I just like that big elongated forehead skull. That's really cool. But anyways, let's read what it is about. Hopefully it's not that long. Oh, it's a very short synopsis. In the highly acclaimed horror no novelette by Terry M. West, Calvin Winslow is an unhappily married man who takes a late night exit and finds a hellish back road. That's all it says. So, it's very short. Um, and yeah. And then the next one I got for free. Um, it's a... I think it's a short story but it could be a novella so let me check real quick or a novelette um let me see here let me read the synopsis real quick lifelong partners phil and gary are given the unexpected opportunity to stay at work a work colleague's weekend cottage in the country free of charge there should have been like a comma there or something i i, I, I might have messed that up they call it an early night after the long drive down, but are awoken by horrific screams coming from the garden. Bill, thinking it's probably a fox, gets up to investigate, and that's when things turn sour. 
Why did a woman they hardly know let them have the cottage for free? I wouldn't, I, I would, yeah, true. Why would they, okay. What is the mysterious connection between the house and, and, oh, sorry, there, extra word added there, the couple who have never visited the area before? What does it make that, what is it make that terrify, what, hmm. What is it that that may okay wow um the synopsis is needs some work but what is it that makes terrifying noises in the garden our past misdemeanors will always catch up with us eventually and we will all pay for what they order with equal measure karma that's victor vilestone's the weekend cottage and this is yeah like a novelette so yeah and that's officially it sorry about that but yeah um i'm enjoying my reads currently i'm currently reading scion Doss's buried with the night he doesn't want me talking too much about this so i'm not going to talk much about it um i got two more stories left and yeah not gonna talk about it 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 hurry with the night yeah and uh next um i think i'm gonna read i'm oh i'm listening currently listening to pa douglas's the old one very good uh cosmic horror audiobook so far um it i haven't gotten to the cosmic horror stuff yet but I think it's coming very soon. There's this mo monster creature thingy, and uh, and uh, on the cover, this monster creature thingy, and I think it starts off, it starts off pretty brutally. Um, but then it starts talking about you know something else. <clears throat> it like it like. You know, it's like this guy woke up and his his stomach bursted. So I'm guessing he kind of like gave birth to like this alien thing. <clears throat> and uh, I'm really excited to read it. Um, I feel very, 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 very empathetic for the um, main character so far, or at least what I think is the main character. Um, it's very, very entertaining so far, and I'm digging it. Um, if I like P.A. Douglas's audiobook, then I'm probably going to move on to The Dark Man by P.A. Douglas and just kind of move through there. I am still reading um, Asher Ellis's um, Curse of the Pigman. I'm kind of struggling it to, with it and are having a really hard time getting into it. I don't know why. It's not that it's a bad book. Actually, it's pretty well written really well edited um but i'm just having an issue you know trying to get through it um <sighs> but yeah that's why i stopped it i didn't dnf it yet but um i stopped it to read buried with the night by cyan Doss and to listen to the old one by pa douglas I have a few books coming in, and uh, one of those books I might want to read sooner than later. Um, <sighs> wow. I'm tired. Yeah, but um, yeah, P.A. Douglas's The Old One is the audiobook. I'm like 21 minutes into it. Very good story so far. Um, but I'm only 21 minutes into it. Um, all we've talked about is an old man fishing. So, which has actually been very entertaining. Um, sorry, I you worked in the, I worked in a backyard all day and, and uh, my allergies, I guess I have allergies. Um, I don't feel so good today. I have like this constant runny nose and uh, yeah, but um, yeah, I was like, wrestling with all this grass and pulling out weeds and yeah it's just kind of affecting me a little bit so 
But anyways, um, yeah, I'm reading Buried with the Night, I'm listening to P.A. Douglas's The Old One, and then the next few reads, um, I, all, I have to do challenges, damn it, um, well, um, poop, um, well, <clears throat> there's a few challenges coming up, um, we are currently during, in two of them, um, I'm having a really rough time with challenges. Um, I know my friend's challenge, the Step Right Up a thon, is coming up. Um, I'm going to participate in it and do the best that I can. I have no idea what I'm going to read for it. I keep saying that I know, but um, I keep changing my mind. So, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I just looked at it and yes, I, 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 uh, I did do, uh, I did fill out a prompt again. So I might redo the step right up a thon challenge and put some shorter reads in there and connect some of the prompts just to make it easier on myself. Um, I know it's kind of cheating, but you know what, screw that, you know, I'm not going to be able to do that if I don't do this, so, yeah. But anyways, that is it, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the ebook haul, uh, the book review for this book should be up in a few days, um, I'm thinking... I told my friend probably Thursday, but I'm thinking Tuesday or Wednesday now, because it's been such an easy read, I'm telling you, you know, I'm on this story called Endings, and which is like 12 pages long, then I'm on to the next one, which is Darjeeling, which is the one I'm most excited for, um, but yeah, not no more talking about that, sorry, um, I, uh, very excited to announce that, um, well not announce, but I am working on a story that I'm very excited about. I'm not going to tell you much about it, because I don't want you guys to get excited for it and then me to have all this, you know, tension on me to finish it. But, uh, yeah, um, I'm working on a story, it's very cool, and it's of the splatterpunk variety, so, yeah, I'm looking very forward to writing it. And then Grey Matter is going to be revised. Um, we, I'm going to be releasing a revised edition with a brand new cover. Hopefully, uh, it, it has a. I have a. So I have it, the as stories are getting edited, and hopefully become better. Um, and yeah, there's will be an extra story added to it too. I forgot to mention that. And this extra story is called The Thing in the Ward, uh, which is about this guy who gets uh, a experimental ca cancer treatment. So yeah, that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a spooky night and I'll catch you in the next video. So peace out. Peace out. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds.